morning promo for I Shine Boys and Girls Moms and Dads. It's your teacher Magic. How are you? Como esta? It's so nice to see all you guys back here with your happy faces. I hope you're having a great start of the morning because today I will take you guys down to the studio and I will be sharing a few tips on how you can improve your smartphone photography or to simply put it, how you can shoot like your teacher Magic. So let me just fix my hair, grab my bag and go down to the studio. Let's go! So this is it. We have arrived in my studio. This is your Teacher Magic Studio. Let me just set this down. You know, I go here every day to work. I go here every day to shoot. Today is special because we are gonna do that together. And since it's early in the morning, I was thinking maybe we can take photos of the first thing that we see or the first thing that we do when we wake up, which is... Can you have a guess? It's this small guess. Guess, guess. Yes, breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day. Five stars for you. So I'm gonna set up a table right behind me here, and then I'm gonna prepare breakfast, and then we're gonna eat together. I mean, we're gonna shoot together, and then we're gonna eat together. So do stick around because this will take me like a few seconds. You ready? I'm ready. Here's my question. What do you think is the most important part when taking our photo? Is it our camera? Is it the food? It might be colors? Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me help you. It's the light. We will be talking about three magic tricks. Number one, light. Number two, composition. And number three, angles. If you want to skim through the video, there are timestamps in the description below. But of course, I do have a surprise tip somewhere in between. So you have to stay and keep watching. Lighting is the most important thing for us photographers when we're doing any kind of photo shoot or photograph. Just like here in my studio, I have really big windows so there is a lot of light that can come in to my subject or the food. And you can easily do this at home as well. You just have to find a really good light source. It doesn't just apply with food. You can take photos of your siblings or your pets or your favorite book, toy, you know, stuff like that. So that is tip number one, light. Don't forget. Okay, tip number two is composition. Now, what is composition? Hmm. It is how the elements are arranged in a photograph. Composing an image before actually taking the photograph takes a lot of time and patience. And of course, some creative thinking. You have to imagine what you want your photo to look like. The bowl with some cereal, and then we have some strawberry jam here. A spoon, because you know, it's breakfast. Add a milk carton. You have that element of pouring the milk. It all just makes sense. Having just the right amount of elements or props would make the fullness of your photo. Can you say that with me? Composition. Com? Position. Composition. Tip number three is knowing your angles or angles. Let's ask ourselves, how do I want to take a photo of this one? There are different kinds of angles. You have the eye level where everything looks straight and yummy. So it's sort of like this, mm -hmm. right? Look at that, look at the cereal. Now we can also try a top angle, which is the popular one or what they call a flat lay, where you can see most of the table and food and the details. Or, which is my favorite, you can even try a super close up angle. It's so close you can actually taste it. Now this is something I practice every time I take photos. You should do that too. You have to experiment and get creative. There are no rules, no one's counting, except that we get hungry if we don't eat right away. That's why for me, I practice, practice, practice. As soon as I get the hang of it, it's easier for me to take a photo and then it's beautiful, it's everything that I wanted, and then I can eat. <laughs> Just a recap of our first three tips. It's light composition and angles. Light meaning you need to have a decent source of light like a window or a lamp. Number two is composition is how the elements are arranged to make the photo. And number three, angles. Eye level view, you have the top angle view or you have a super close up. Whew, isn't that fun? I had fun. Did you have fun? Great. 
I wish I had all of this knowledge when I was younger because growing up as a creative kid, I knew how important it was to keep healthy and focus on my art. Which brings me to today's sponsor of the video, Promo 4. The new and best ever Promil 4 now has formulated the Nutri Gift System. Specially formulated with MOS Plus that is clinically proven to double the immunity to nurture the gift. Aside from all the benefits it has for kids, choosing Promil 4 is also rewarding to the parents. Wyatt Parent Team Reward gives points for each purchase of Promil 4 from participating supermarkets. It's very easy to sign up. Just look for the Wyatt Parent Team Rewards on Facebook Messenger and they will guide you through the process. Points are convertible to Gcash, which is useful for everyone. Moving forward, we're gonna keep this because it's medyo malamig na sa studio. Of course, I also have something for the moms and dads out there. You know, in today's modern world, if you are like me, I like capturing my daily life. Back when I was growing up, my parents would always take photos of me and my sisters and they would put it into photo albums or whatnot. But today, we have our smartphones that can do that. You can just easily look at it and look back. A lot of parents out there would cherish these moments with their kids. You should start taking videos as well or you can start vlogging. But do remember that audio is as important as light. When you're filming, when you're vlogging with your daughter or your son, make sure it's not noisy. There are no background music, as quiet as it can be. So that way you have a clear loud voice and that when you look back and when you watch that, you would remember what was happening in that scene or in that day when you were filming, right? Also make sure your hand is steady when filming like this. Because we don't like shaky videos. So vertigo siya. You can use a tripod where you can just put it there and start talking and start filming because nowadays it's so nice like we have the tools to do that but if you're that shy type of parent and you don't want to do this in public or what just have your kid film you imagine that if you teach your kids now how to use a camera you get different angles you see what they see which is Oh my gosh, if I do have kids someday, I will definitely teach them how to take photos and videos because it is additional memories for me as well. Other than having photos with smartphones or even with a camera, always, always enjoy the moment. Sometimes it's just nice to be there in that moment and just, you know, take it all in. Now what I shared today may be too broad or general or you know, it's just too much, but these are just some of the fundamentals when being a creative. Rest assured, you will improve and these things will also be useful when your kids would need help with their school or online classes or generally just double their creativity. If you wanna know more other than photography or anything creative, do visit the Gifted channel. I also shared some photography tips there, so do check it out. Link will be in the description below. That said, thank you Promil for I shine boys and girls, moms and dads, and everyone who tuned in on this video. I am hungry. I want to eat. You also want to eat, so let's let's eat breakfast together. If you have comments or questions, just leave them down below or message me on my socials. It's at Magic Luanag. Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Magic Man because now you see me, now you don't. <laughs>